Hello, girls and boys. It's Mrs. Williams and Remy, who keeps moving, and Bella and Max. I'm here to read you the second half of the Mad Family story about getting their Mads out. So the little boy is talking to the lady. He says, we practice talking out Mads. The lady showed me how to tell my Mads. She said I could say my Mads out loud using a strong, firm voice. She told me to remember to use my words when I was mad. I chose the teddy bear for my teacher. I feel mad when you scold me for talking in class, I said. Can you see him holding the teddy bear? Yes. The baby doll became my little brother. I feel mad when you knock my blocks down. I pretended the hippo was my father. I felt kind of scared with my dad watching me. The lady nodded. I took a deep breath and I said, I feel mad when you yell at me. I looked at my father to see if he was angry, but my dad just nodded too. You are learning to use your words, said the lady. It's okay to feel mad some of the time, but holding on to angry feelings only makes you feel bad. Hurting people by calling them names makes you more angry. Using your words in a nice way chases those bad feelings away. Check your body. It will tell you when your mads are coming on. Then tell yourself to make a good choice and use your words. Breathing helps you think better when you're angry, she said. You can blow those mads away by taking deep breaths. Here is what you say to yourself. It goes like this. I feel mad. I breathe. Feel mad, breathe. Mad, breathe. Mad, breathe. Do it with me, she said. I thought of my angry feelings. Then I remembered to breathe. I blew out some of my mads. I told myself to make a good choice. How do you feel? asked the lady. I checked my tummy. There weren't any mads. I checked my fists. No mads there. I checked my brain. There were no mads anywhere. The mads were gone. The lady said, now when I talk my mads, they go away. Say that. Now when I talk my mads, they go away. Wow, that's amazing. She said, the mads are gone for now, but they might come back. They might sneak back in when you don't get your way. Or when mom and dad say no. Or if somebody hurts you or takes away your toys. That's just the way the mads are. But now you know how to take care of them. Remember to check your feelings. Breathe, blow out your mads, talk them out then you can feel good about yourself. So boys and girls, the little boy learned a lot about how to get his mads out. And he made some rules and I'm gonna read them to you. Rules for getting your mads out. Check your tummy, jaws, and your fists. See if the mads are coming. Breathe, blow your mad out. Get your control and feel good about getting it. Stop and think, make a good choice. People are not to be hurt with your hands, feet, or voice. You can't hurt people just because you're mad. Remember to use your words, not your fists. Use a strong voice and say, I feel mad when you... Sometimes it takes a little time to get your control back. Take yourself to a safe place and talk to yourself. Very nice. And some other options. Draw lots of pictures about what makes you mad. Make big, colorful, angry drawings. Make noises while you draw. Pound on clay or pillows as long as it's not going to hurt you. Get that anger out. Go in the backyard and pretend to dig a hole. It might make you feel better. Put your mads in soap bubbles and blow them away. You know how we do that in our room. We have blow bubbles that you can blow all the time to feel better. Rip up an old magazine. 
or paper, something that doesn't matter to someone. That's a good thing. All right, my friends, I'm going to leave it there. It sounds to me like we have lots of good ideas. And I am going to be sending this video to many people. And I expect you'll write me back and tell me what you think. Take care now and be good to each other. Bye.